Hi, I'm Joe Graydon. I'm Terry Graydon, and we're here to talk about our podcast on the People's Pharmacy. It's all about rethinking hypothyroidism. You know, Terry, there are like 20 million Americans who take thyroid medicine, like levothyroxine, that's the generic form of Synthroid, and then millions more take what I'd call natural thyroid, desiccated thyroid, armor thyroid as an example. So why should we rethink hypothyroidism, Joe? Well, I think for the most part, people think, oh, it's so simple. And that includes, I think, a lot of doctors because they're, they're trained to look at things like TSH, for example, thyroid stimulating hormone as a diagnostic tool. Correct. And if it's too high... If it's too high, it means your thyroid's not working hard enough. If it's too low, TSH is too low, it means your thyroid gland is in overdrive. And so if, if it's not in the quote unquote normal range, doctors often prescribe levothyroxine. And for most people, that actually works quite well. well I'm one of those millions of people who takes levothyroxine, I have done for decades, and it works for me. Now, when you say most people, about 80%, 85%. But that means 15% of almost 20 or 25 million people are not getting benefit from just pure levothyroxine. Or not enough benefit. Right. So they still have symptoms of hypothyroidism. Such as? They may feel easily chilled. They may feel completely wiped out, total fatigue. They may have muscle weakness. They may have constipation. Women may have problems with their menstrual cycle or trouble getting pregnant. So there, there are many, many, many symptoms of inadequate thyroid hormone. And when people are being treated with Synthroid or levothyroxine, uh, Synthroid is the brand name, if, they, if, the, if the treatment is not working well enough, they may still have many of those symptoms. So we are honored to be able to bring to you in our podcast on hypothyroidism, one of the world's foremost authorities on thyroid function, Dr. Antonio Bianco, has written a really fabulous book. On rethinking hypothyroidism, and he has done the research showing, some of the research, showing that some of these people who are not feeling good on levothyroxine alone actually have a genetic quirk that means they're enzyme that converts T4 levothyroxine has four iodines to T3, which is the one that actually does the work in the body, in the cells, that enzyme doesn't work very well. Well, we're not going to tell you any more now because Dr. Bianco will reveal things that you've never heard of before and your physician may not be aware of. So you want to tune into the podcast. How do they find it, Terry? It's on peoplespharmacy.com and it is podcast number 1330. It's also on YouTube. So if you want to learn more about hypothyroidism, tune in to show... Show 1330 on the People's Pharmacy.